Hey everyone, um, back again. Just got done working Dynamo. I worked, um, I worked at the Dynamo Stadium today. Uh, it was uh, U.S. Rugby, which was kind of cool. A little bit different. Uh, no crowd. Easy money today. Uh, but let's get right into it. Which I hate saying, because everybody that makes these videos, that's their opening line. Um, got a package today. Packages from S. V California. I'm not sure uh, what where SV is at, but it's in California. If anybody knows where zip code three, excuse me, nine three zero six three, please let me know. Or I could just Google it, which would probably be easier. But this bobblehead, uh, it is Paul Laguda, and a uh, really cool thing. I did a little bit of research for uh, right before this. Um, bobblehead was gave out May 31st, 2002, so this bobblehead is 11 years old, and it was the fourth overall bobblehead to be give, given out, the first catcher overall to be given out, and also the first bobblehead to be given out at the stadium that wasn't from an ex-player, this was a current player. The, fir the first three bobbleheads were, of course, Tommy Lasora, Kurt Gibson, and Fernando Venezuela. So he was actually not including uh, Tommy, he was the third player ever to be given a bobblehead. He was a catcher for us. He was a catcher for us. Really don't remember this guy, to tell you the truth, but, you know, just history. Oh, uh, the packing job, nothing special. Just basically they put um, a part of an old school garbage bag or shopping bag over it. Uh, this thing's a monster. It's a real big one. Paul was number 16. Like I said, he was also a catcher. He's retired now, and uh, I think he's still doing TV work. Okay. This obviously was... It was displayed, I could tell it was displayed because there's no wrapping around his neck. And they should have did a little bit of better job packing this guy. But, um, so as far as I can see, there's no damage to it. Um, yeah, this thing's a monster. In a good way. just doing that I mean it looks a hundred times better this yeah this is one of this is one thing that the the, the collectors that just have the up-to-date bobbleheads um, you guys really don't know um, that when Dodger bobbleheads first came out they were, they were just humongous little piece on the helmet let me take it off um, I mean this is a great detail great great detail 16 back of the helmet LA LA on the left sleeve he's got his name on this shoes he's got his catcher gear on I mean, just a great, great looking bobblehead. I'm really proud of it. Alright guys, I'm really going to be slowing down on buying the old school bobbleheads. Um, the new, the first bobblehead that comes out is for this year is Hernandez, the new guy we got. He's doing one of these. Yeah, I think, yeah, he's doing one of these in the bobblehead. I saw it, it looks good. But before that, last year they gave out the the replica stadiums, which I've yet to buy, yet to buy one. 
Uh, if anybody knows where I, where I can get one at a decent price, please let me know. But I saw a statue. It was Jackie Robertson was at the front, and there was two other African Americans behind him. And it's not a bobblehead. I don't know the measurements on it, but I'm really excited about that. I have a Jackie Robertson statue where he's sliding. Um, so I definitely I'm a big Jackie Robertson um, fan. Uh, he did a lot for the game, a lot for us as a culture, and I definitely will buy that. It's gonna be one of the hot sellers. I can already know that's gonna be a hot seller. Everybody likes Jackie Robertson, guys. Um, especially another another keynote. The statues have the B, so they're gonna have the old school Brooklyn Dodger hats on, which is great. Um, the bobblehead collection for this year is going to be great. I'm ready to get my Ma um, um, Michael, not Michael, Magic Johnson bobblehead. I'm not sure what he's going to be having. I, he might have a suit. This might be the first time. Well, um, just looked over and now. Uh, uh, Vince Gall, he's got a suit on. So this might be the second guy who's got a suit. Who knows? If he, I don't know what he's going to wear. You know, who knows? I'm excited about that. They're going to do another Venezuela, uh, Hene Onobo. I mean, they're, I'm excited about the bobbleheads. I just wish they were this size. I mean, this has some weight to it. I mean, this is a great looking bobblehead. Um, you know, like the, I just wish they were like this. I also wish, I know I, I get every, if I'm not at the stadium, I buy them on eBay. I wish the Dodgers would do a prepay if you guys want the bobbleheads, you know, you guys, you know, they give us a chance to buy directly from them. Um, but, you know, who knows. Alright guys, that's it for tonight. Once again, fourth overall bobblehead ever gave out at Dodger Stadium. May 31st, 2002. Alright, thank you. Have a good night, guys.